In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to show you how to add an audio transition into your project. You can use this either with video clips or pure audio. What I have here are three video clips of a parade, and then I have two audio segments. We're going to go in the tr into the transition room and use an audio transition on each of them and see how they operate differently. So in order to get there, we click on the lightning bolt or we press the F8 key to move to our transition room. To make it easy, I'm going to click the down arrow and under the alphabetical section, I will click on audio. And I see that I have two built-in transitions. I'm going to make it them larger so you can see the difference between the two. Uh, the one is called constant gain. What that does is it sharply lowers it and then raises the audio. And the constant power, which is, I think, a little bit misnamed, but uh, it goes down gradually and then comes up gradually. It's hard for my ears to hear the difference between the two, but maybe you can. Let me show you how to use them on a pure audio file. I have um, uh, two uh, audio clips here. I'll just take my transition. I'll drag it down and drop it between the two of them. I'm going to double click on it because I want to move from overlap to a crossfade. And then I'm going to increase the time from three seconds. Let's go up to six. And now we have changed it. So uh, here's what you can hear how it works. goes down to nothing and then comes up again. So that's one way you can use the audio transition in the pure audio file. But how does it work when you're using video clips? Let me show you. We're going to use the other one for an example. I'll drag it down between these two video clips. We'll double click on it again. And uh, I'm going to go back and use my crossfade. I'm going to increase this to uh, another six seconds and now we've changed it so notice what happens when we look at the track i'm going to move it up a little bit we have the alpha here and then we have our little icon what we have is both an audio transition and a video transition and if i hold my mouse over the video it says fade that's a default when you add this kind of transition in a video track, it adds both an audio and a video, not simply the audio. And for some reason, um, you can't separate the two. You can change the first. We'll show you in a minute how to do that. But it adds both a video transition and an audio transition when using it in a video context. So I'll go ahead and play this. <laughs> You see it go down and you watch on the preview screen and we have the fade in and fade out. And uh, so that's what we have when we use this particular one. We can use the constant gain as well. I'll double click on this one. I'll turn it to a similar crossfade and we'll increase the time to six seconds or so. And then we'll go ahead and play it. Okay, so this is a little bit misnamed when you apply it in a video setting. Now, if I don't want the trend video transition to be fade, I can't remove fade, but I can change fade. So I'm going to click here, and we'll go back up to all our content. We'll uh, shrink the size of our icons. And let's say we want to do the break apart. I can take this transition drag it to the very top. You notice it only highlights half of my transition. And now I have the same audio fade, but I'll have a different <laughs> video transition. There, I changed the video. The audio part stays the same. It's one of the two that are the default in the program. I'll go over to the, to the second one. And we can go ahead and do the same thing. Let's change this to uh, shove. I'll drag it down. We'll move it back a couple frames. And then we'll do the preview. 
And there we have the different visual transition of the same audio transition. So these are how you, this is how you can use the, uh, the two different transitions in the audio category in Cyberlink PowerDirector. Remembering when it's pure audio file, you only have the audio change, but when it's video, you will have both an audio and video, and you can change the video part of it if you want.